I'm Cynthia Lee Sinclair, host of Finding Respect in the Chaos here on Think Tech Hawaii. In this follow-up commentary regarding the vote for Supreme Court judge, I hope to reach out to other survivors and those who support this important issue. I want all of you to take heart and remember, the cry of survivor echoed through the halls of Washington over these last weeks. It took many hours after the final vote was called for the pallor of dread to lift for me. I think it will be some time before survivors of abuse can try to make complete sense of the events that have transpired over these last few weeks. I watched as crowds of people in a spontaneous surge swarmed the Supreme Court steps and more spontaneous protests sprang up all over Washington and New York. Along with many other survivors, I have felt re-victimized by this proceeding. As you know, Dr. Christine Blasey Ford and two other women accused Bart Kavanaugh of sexual assault. Dr. Blasey Ford testified before the State Judiciary Committee and everyone said she was very credible, even the president. Then he mocked her heartlessly. Senators said they believed her. They just didn't believe that she was right about who did this. I didn't know you could cherry pick what you want out of a story so that it suits the outcome you desire and still call it honesty. It looks to me like a distortion of the truth. We know of many witnesses that were not interviewed and that the investigation was not a thorough one. I believe if Senator Flake's intentions were really genuine, he would have kept the vote in committee until after a real investigation had been done. There are eyewitnesses willing to come forward that were never interviewed, including one of Mark Judge's girlfriends from that time, Elizabeth Razor. She remembers him telling her a story about a similar incident as Dr. Ford's account. Every time I hear one of the senators say, well, there was no corroboration, it feels almost like a slap in the face. I said in my last commentary I was worried that they were going to limit the scope so much we wouldn't get a real investigation, and that's exactly what happened. Dr. Blasey Ford has still been receiving death threats and is unable to live at her own home, while Bart is moving to the highest court in the land. Her lawyers have come forward to say that there are uninterviewed corroborating witnesses despite the claims that there were none. We saw in Bart's testimony that beyond the sexual assault claims, his demeanor was outrageous. Representative Tulsi Gabbard put out a statement saying, instead of staying above the partisanship, Judge Kavanaugh was aggressively partisan, angrily referring to left-wing opposition groups and revealing his political bias. He should not be a Supreme Court judge. At the end of my last commentary, I said that I hoped that we would find changes in this country surrounding the subject of abuse, regardless of what happened with Bart. Now I hear the word survivor ringing through the halls of Washington, and it sounds like rage. Senator Maisie Hirono said in an interview after the final vote, she is going to be focused like a laser beam in regard to protecting women's rights and issues of sexual assault and abuse. So how do we go on forward from here? I think we need to start by taking this subject out of partisan hands. First, we must separate this movement from politics and let the word survivor ring not only through the halls of Washington, but across all of America. If they want to close their eyes and their minds to this problem, we will not. We will continue to let the cry survivor ring true. Just because we have someone with sexual assault accusations against them in the Oval Office doesn't mean we should have one on the Supreme Court too. I hope everyone will use the outrage they feel about the way Bart was put on the highest court in our land to get out and vote. I want to thank you for tuning in to Think Tech Hawaii. I'm Cynthia Lee Sinclair, 
from Finding Respect in the Chaos. My show is live every other Friday at 3 p.m. It is a safe place for survivors to come and tell their stories and a place for advocates to come and share resources. All of my episodes can be found on the YouTube playlist. If you would like to appear on my show, please contact me at Cynthia Lee Sinclair at thinktechhawaii.com. I appreciate your time, and I, I ask you, no, I implore you, go vote.